Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to Doki Doki Forest. Today we are going to be opening some happy mail that came from Canada, from Barbara. Miss Chicken Pot Pie Society herself has sent me a beautiful envelope with all kinds of quotes. Look at the little rubber ducky washi. I love that. Let's see what we have written on here. Life is a moderately good play with a badly written third act. <laughs> People do not seem to realize their opinion of the world is also a confession of character. We live on a blue planet that circles around a ball of fire next to a moon that moves the oceans. And you say you don't believe in miracles? <laughs> Come with me where dreams are born and time is never planned. Just think of happy things and your heart will fly on wings forever in Never Never Land. Embellishments, noun. An item to which owning enough does not apply. <laughs> That's so true. Actions prove who someone is. Words just prove who they want to be. Oh, these are great. Oh, I have MPD, Multiple Project Disorder. Oh my gosh, tell me about it. I have so many different projects right now. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't focus. If someone tells you that you have enough art supplies, stop talking to them immediately. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. <laughs> There's something that we all get, right? We can all relate to that. I have a black belt in craft supply shopping. Oh my gosh, these are so funny. Did I read them all? Oh, those are great. Barbara has such funny quotes. I just love it. And I want to be sure that I don't rip these. Can I do this? I'm braving opening this end. I really don't want to rip any of these, so I may just wind up cutting it with scissors. You know what I'm going to do now that I've opened this part, I'm just going to cut off this little tab here. And we're going to make a journal page after I open this. So I want to be sure to save all of these things so I can put them in my Happy Mail journal, which is right here next to me. It's getting nice and chunky. This was a journal, a file folio style journal that Care over at My Take at the Lake sent to me and I've been keeping my happy mail in it. All right, let's see what we have inside. Ooh, we've got some pictures and things, some clippings. Let's see. It's always fun when somebody sends you some new things for your stash, isn't it? <gasps> oh my gosh. Hold on, let me just peek. Okay, I've gotten everything out of here. Look at this telephone. Hold on. I just have to get something to show you. Okay. So over here at the Doki Doki Forest, we have this phone pretty close to this one here. It's a little bit different. This one has the numbers like inside the little holes there where you would dial. So it's a little different, but it's the same kind of thing. The rotary phone. Ready? Listen to this. Right? You love that sound? And just this hanging it up. Awesome. It's a little dusty. A little dusty. But, um, yeah, so we have this phone, and it turns out Barbara has the same phone. So we have a magical connecting rotary phone that we can call each other. And not only that, but she has an ice cream unicorn and I have Sophia, who is my puppy, or she's a dog. She's not a puppy. She's <laughs> older than that, but she, um, and it turns out they call each other all the time using the rotary phone hotline. It's like a quick dial to each other's house. So anyway, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Barbara. I love that. That has a special meaning. 
All right, let me put this back because Sophia probably wants to use it. She's probably going to call Barbara's house right now. Oh, we've got some we've got some tickets here. Keep this coupon and ticket. I like these. I don't have I have um what do I have? I have these ones that are like party tickets. They're like raffle tickets. They have like balloons and stuff on them, but I don't have any like this. And I like these. These look vintage. Those are cool. They go with the telephone here. Oh, look at this little happy face. Thank you, Barbara. I love that. This looks like a nice little book page. And then you put a little paint on there, a little smiley face. Well, that is adorable. That's really cool. I want to do that. I have like a bunch of book pages and I want to just open it up and just start either painting or doodling all over it and make some ephemera to use. Next we have a little tag. I love this. That's very cute. Look at this. Sending happy mail. <laughs> That's awesome. And ooh, a bookmark. There is no friend as loyal as a book, says Ernest Hemingway. Well, you know I love my books. And it's the same quote on the front and the back. I'll see if there's a different quote. But we have the beautiful fall leaves. And I absolutely love reading. You know what I'm reading right now? Where is it? Hold on, I'll go I'll go get it and I'll share with you what I'm currently reading. Okay, so currently I am reading this book here. It's called The Soul of an Octopus: A Surprising Exploration into the Wonder of Consciousness, and this is written by a New England author from New Hampshire named Cy Montgomery. And she is a naturalist. She has written many books. And she just came out actually with the sequel to this book, which is here. It's called Secrets of the Octopus. And I picked that one up as well, but I hadn't read the first one. And I don't think you have to read them in order, but I just wanted to. And this is a fascinating journey that she had getting to know several octopuses. And the plural form of octopus is octopuses, not octopi because you can't have the Latin ending I on a Greek word. Or I think that's what Sai said in her book. <laughs> so this book is absolutely fascinating. She goes to the New England Aquarium and spends much time with several different octopuses and just talks about how intelligent they are, how much she learned, and how connected she felt to them. So that's what I'm reading right now. I'm going to take out my current bookmark, which is my postcard, and I'm going to put in Barbara's. There we go. So instantly using that. Okay, next we have this cute little R&W root beer bear. That's really cute. Now, we've bought this root beer before. My husband is a big root beer fan, but I've never seen this bear before. I don't remember them having like a bear mascot. Has that always been a thing? That's super cute. Oh, oh, free. Good for one A&W root beer. Small. Redeemable at any A&W in Canada. Issued by the great A&W root bear. I didn't even know this was a thing. That's so cool. So Barbara, now you have to tell me, do you have like a special A&W restaurant or you know place that you go I'm so curious well I guess I have to I'm gonna go to Canada you know I, I have to redeem this or do I it's definitely going in the journal <laughs> I don't know if it's going in the happy mail journal or something else we'll see I never know and then we have a little page here Thursday dear first grade journal yesterday was the first day of school it is new here today my teacher handed out these journals he is making us write in these dumb things. Only I don't even know what to write. <laughs> oh, it's Junie B. One of the Junie B books. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I love that. I've never read the Junie B books. And I say that because I still read kids books. Like I don't care if they're chapter books or young adult books or whatever. I just read books. Anything that someone suggests. Not today, nor tomorrow, I think it says. A, little, a nice little piece of music paper here. 
Oh, this is very nice. I love this. This is like a little collage right here. So I'm going to put these things on a Happy Mail page and stay tuned because all this Happy Mail, I'm going to be sending something out to one of you. So stay tuned and I'll show you at the end um, what I am going to send out. And I think that that's something I'll do each time I receive Happy Mail. I think I also wanna make sure that I send something out. So I'll share with you what I get in and then I also wanna send something out. So stay tuned for now. Let's get going in the journal. We last left off here with Julia's mail and also a little something from Flo. So we're on this page. All right, so I definitely want to put this in. And I could even make it a pocket. I could make it a little pocket. Well, no, I don't want to make it a pocket because then I would have to um, I would have to like bend it too much I think well if I cut that off I could do it but I already hmm what do I want to do let me just cut the front off as well because there's some things on the front that I want all right so we have this and then we have this cute little butterfly lady that was on the front. Love her. And then, and it looks like Barbara colored this in too. I love that. It looks like maybe some marker or something. And then there's some really cool stamps. So I want to get, I want to get those as well. There we go. Oh, let me show you up close. Please. So let me think, if I do it like this, yeah, I don't want to have to bend that. So I'm just going to glue this in, glue that in and then have the stamps there. I think I'm going to save my bear. Should I save my bear or I could, I could put it right here. I love this. <laughs> He's making us write these dumb things. I love that. That's funny. Maybe I'll put the little butterfly there. And I could put the little smiley too. A little smiley. Hmm. Maybe I will put this in here as a flip. I could even put it like right there as a flip. But it's kind of fragile is the only thing. So I should probably tuck it if I'm going to do anything. Actually, I could do that. It's such a long piece. I could tuck that in there. That would be pretty neat. So maybe I will make this a pocket because the words go in every direction. So no matter how I put it, some of them will be the right way and some of them will be a little bit, um, let me zoom out a little, there we go. Some of them will be all over the place. <laughs> So I think I will glue that in. Let's glue this in and we'll see if I left myself a pocket space. I tried to. I don't know if it's big enough for the ticket. And let me just do this to make sure, hopefully, that we keep that space in the middle here. For the pocket. So this could go in the pocket and we could use this up here. We could use, I love this. I think I'm going to use this in something else. I'm going to use that in my daily journal. I think I want to put that in there. Oh, I forgot this one too. I have a black belt in craft supply shopping. Yes, we might have multiple black belts in, in, uh, shopping, right? And craft shopping might be like a, uh, eighth degree black belt or something. <laughs> All right, so I think I will use some of this music paper. Maybe put that there. Have 
of the little fairy like that and I'll put those words there and maybe I'll just add one of the oh a craft a behind me <laughs> maybe I'll just add one of these there I could make like a little collage up here so I think I'll do that and then I want to write something I can leave this space here for me to write on because it's really fun to look back on these pages and just see, you know, just think of friends and remember when you got that mail, the day you opened the mailbox and it wasn't a bill. And then we'll put the stamp on here. We'll give it a little bit of a, put it in at a little bit of an angle. So then, could put that in there. I don't know. Now I'm thinking of something else. Now I'm thinking how I want to put this in here about the telephone that we share. So maybe I won't use this as a pocket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm thinking I will make this a two page. I think I'm going to make something to go right here like maybe an ice cream unicorn pocket. All right. So let's get some watercolor paper here. And we'll do a precise measurement, which is not a precise measurement at all. And we kind of want something maybe like that. So ice cream unicorn. Now, is ice cream unicorn a unicorn made out of ice cream? Or is ice cream unicorn a unicorn that enjoys eating ice cream? Because I know... Barbara's Ice Cream Unicorn, definitely. Why did I make the head so close to the top there? Um, I know Barbara's Ice Cream Unicorn definitely loves ice cream. So let's see. We want to make them for sure enjoying an ice cream. Now, it would be tricky to hold an ice cream for a unicorn, right? But we'll see what we can do here. We might have to hold it with both hooves. We've got a big old ice cream here. Sprinkles on top. Maybe a cherry just for fun. And maybe we'll put the other hoof over here so it can hold it with both of them. Now, would that be a good enough pocket? Would that work? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that wouldn't work. Let me think. I think it'll work. And I still have a little bit of glue on my fingers. I was working in the glue book, working, quote unquote, in a glue book today. It was the spring one that I was working on yesterday. The Beatrix Potter book turned spring altered book glue journal you know, a uh, glue book rather. So I was working in that today and then I knew I wanted to do this because I received this mail um, a few days ago. Maybe it was even a week now at this point. But I wanted to wait to open it until I could do it here with you. So today is the day. And thank you, Barbara, again so much for being so thoughtful and sending that out. All right, we're going to have some nice, nice flowing hair on the mane here. Whoops. Okay. And that's going to be the edge anyway so and then we've got our hoof over here one here well that came a little strange but that's okay 
That's all right. I don't think Ice Cream Unicorn will be offended if this does not look really like Ice Cream Unicorn. Right, Barbara? Alright, so here is the ice cream. We'll make a nice waffle cone kind of thing here. I was going to make some drips, but uh, I don't think I can cut out the drips. So we'll just pretend it's dripping. All right, ice cream unicorn. Now we'll just let that dry for a minute. Then I will erase the pencil and then we will do some watercolor. And actually I'm going to move this fabric because I don't want to get watercolor on it. So I'll be right back in just a minute. So while that is drying, before we get to the painting, I was inspired by Barbara's smiley that she sent me, and I created four different little quick sketch illustrations that I would like to send to you. So we have this little fawn or deer. We have this bird. This turtle. And this creature, like fox, cat-ish sort of creature, just a creature. So you may pick, these were all just sketched and really quickly, like just watercolored, painted on some dictionary paper. So I have four of them. So I have four to give away in Happy Mail if you are interested. And I will tell you more on that after we paint the Ice Cream Unicorn. Okay, ice cream unicorn is ready to be painted. And let's see, I think we'll do sort of like maybe some pastel -y colors. Just some different kinds of tones here. I may actually get out my shimmery paints as well because I just love to do some colors that are from that set. I love, there's this um, really shimmery like teal color that's really pretty, I like a lot. So we use a little bit of this for shadowy spots, a little bit of this ultramarine blue that's been a little bit mixed with the um, permanent rose. So you can get some purpley sort of undertones there. And I want the horn to be gold, so I think I'm just going to actually do that straight gold. Pure gold. Go ahead and put that in now. Maybe the horn should have been an ice cream cone. <laughs> what flavor ice cream do we have today? Maybe it'll just be a combo of some different flavors or Actually, I'm really liking this green, and I will get my shimmery paints. I do feel like playing around with those. You know, when you have a magical creature like a unicorn, and especially an ice cream unicorn, it really just makes you want to use these fabulous colors. See, this right here is probably my favorite color. 
I don't know what it's officially called in the set, but this is probably my favorite one worth the cost of the whole set just <laughs> for this one. No, but I really, I really like this. Let's see, add a little pink in there. All my unicorns seem to turn into 80s unicorns. I just, I just can't help it. <laughs> it's just what comes out. Ooh, that is a lot of pink. Speaking of pink, you know what? I'm going to give this unicorn pink hooves. How about that? Oh, you can't see the other one. I forgot. Whoops. And then I'll make the cherry that pinkish color as well. All right, now we'll paint the ice cream. The ice cream cone doesn't have to be shimmery though, right? We can just do like a regular color for that. Oh, you know what? I didn't put any purple in the main. Let me add a little bit of purple in there too. Oh, that doesn't really look purple, does it? Well, I guess it does, kind of. It's a strange kind of color, but I like it. See, it's this one here. It looks purple in the tin, but it's pretty dark. But it's cool. All right. So let me dry that and cut that out. Okay, here we go. We have our page here. We will add ice cream unicorn down there. I just cut them out. And now they're ready to be glued on at the bottom. And we're going to do it pocket style. So I'm just going to glue these two edges. Squish that on there. Get that dry. And in the meantime, we will glue this. Actually, it looks like Barbara attached another paper to the back so I could write on the back of this. So maybe I won't glue that down. I was originally going to. But now I see that I can use that as a tag and I can tuck that in. So I can put this on here and this on here. So let's do that. Um, let's put it up here. Hmm, it's going to kind of cover that up a little bit, but that's okay. There. All right. And then we have, oh, we have these. I put two here. I could put these two here. Or I could put them over here. Oh, it says Canada this way. Yeah, this way. There we go. And this little guy is going to get tucked in over here. There we go. And I still have some of this paper. So I could use this as a background. Could put a little song here. Ice Cream Unicorn does love to sing. So I could do that and I could do this everything in. I'm putting everything in. I didn't know I was going to do that, but that's just how it's turning out. So I'll move that down there so it's behind. There we go. And while this is drying still, I'm going to go ahead and write on the back of this card. Okay, so I added some rays here, like the smiley face is the sun shining, and then I added some of this glittery watercolor here and some gold paint. Ice Cream Unicorn is now securely in, and on the tag I also added some paint, and here is the rotary phone. On the back I wrote, surprise happy mail from Barbara, including this gorgeous image of a black rotary phone, just like the ones she and I each have. In fact, Sophia and Ice Cream Unicorn call each other quite frequently on it. So much fun packed into an envelope. Thank you so much, Barbara. That gets tucked right in here, or maybe this way. Tuck it right in there so you can really see the phone. And on the tag that Barbara gave me, I added this question. What flavor ice cream is Ice Cream Unicorn enjoying? And that is the question for you to answer in the comments if you would like me to send you one of these images. So on Sunday, I will select four names randomly and you can either request a particular, I'll put them out again. You can request a particular design or if you don't care, you can just say any and I will send this to you. You can be anywhere in the world, it doesn't matter. And I'll probably pop in a couple other little images from magazines and stuff like that to go with it. Just a little envelope. And all you have to do is just tell me what flavor ice cream you think Ice Cream Unicorn is enjoying 
in that illustration I made. And then Sunday, I will pull four names and send this out to you. So look forward to that. Um, I'm really excited to send out this happy mail. So I hope, I hope people are interested. <laughs> and back to this happy mail. Thank you so much, Barbara and Ice Cream Unicorn. I absolutely love everything and it really brightened my day. That's just what Happy Mail does. It really just makes someone's day and you just never know who could use a little lifting up that day. You know, sometimes we talk to people, how you doing? Fine. How you doing? Fine. Everyone says fine, but they might actually be going through some stuff they just don't feel like getting into. So sending happy mail to somebody or popping it in a random mailbox or a neighbor's mailbox can really do so much to just put a smile on somebody's face and it could be a day they really need that so very important so thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you again soon